Hello and welcome to the video makeup for the Isotopes of Pentium Lab. This video in LQHS production um, is of the lab for Unit 2, the Isotopes of Pentium, as demonstrated by me, Mr. Royo, for all CP and HP honors chemistry classes. Uh, what we have in front of us here is the document for the Isotopes of Pentium Lab. Starting out by reading through the purpose of the lab. Purpose. Atomic theory and the multiple atomic models that were made reflected the new and continual discoveries made by the top scientists of their time. Dalton's theory of the atom postulated that all atoms of a single element were identical to one another. Upon the discovery of the neutron, this postulation was proven to be incorrect. It turned out that atoms of the same element do not necessarily have to be identical. Two atoms of the same element could, in fact, having different numbers of neutrons within their nuclei. Different atoms of the same element became known as isotopes of that element. For example, carbon-12 and carbon-14 are two very different isotopes of the element carbon. In this experiment, you will use pennies to investigate the characteristics of isotopes of a fictitious element. The description of setup. The setup for this lab includes a set of pennies of varying minting years and the use of an electronic balance that measures mass to the nearest tenth of a gram. There are no stockroom chemicals used in this experiment. Materials and equipment. Set of 20 pennies, a calculator, and an electronic balance. The procedure has us first turn on the electronic balance. I'll slide the electronic balance in to the view of the camera. The power button, pressing that, balance warms up. Turn on the shared electronic balance and make sure it is placed evenly between both sides of the lab bench. Step two, measure the total mass of all 20 pennies at once and to the nearest 0.1 grams. Record the data in the table provided. So what we have here is a set of pennies. The balance reads 0, 0.0 grams. So carefully pull out all these pennies and place them on the pan of the balance. The mass reads 53.4 grams. That mass will be recorded on page two in the data section right above the data table. 20 pennies, grams, fill in 54.4 grams on the line in front of the word grams. Step three, for each of the individual pennies, record the year the penny was made in the data table. Step four, measure and record the mass of the penny to the nearest tenths place in the data table. All right, steps three and four we'll do simultaneously. Pulling the pennies off. It's also careful to uh, notice that you want to zero the balance in between each mass measurement. So as we go through these 20 pennies, I'll be indicating the year that the penny was made, placing it on the already zeroed balance, and then reading off the mass. So let me start out by zeroing the balance. This first penny was minted in 1973. Please record 1973 for penny number one's year. The mass of the penny looks like it's stabilized at 3.1. Oh, 3.0. Let me go ahead and re-zero the balance. Looks like 3.1 is where it comes out. So 1973 was 3.1. Re-zeroing. Penny number two, made in 1982. Its mass, 2.5 grams. Penny number three, 2003. Its mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1981, mass 3.1 grams. 
Next penny, 1989. Mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1978. Mass, 3.1 grams. Next penny, 1977. Mass, 3.1 grams. Next penny, 1991. Mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1983. Mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1973. Zero that. Same year, 1973, same penny. Mass, 3.1 grams. Next penny, 1977. Mass, 3.1 grams. Next penny, 2003, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 2003, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1985, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1999, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1999, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1993, mass, 2.5 grams. Next penny, 1957. Touch the balance, let me re zero it. Same year, 1957, remeasuring. Double check that. Go in again. As an uncommon mass that I haven't been encountering. Right. Third time they say is the charm. 1957's mass, 3.1 grams. Next penny, 1983, 2.5 grams. Next and last penny, 1999, 2.5 grams. Step number five, replace the pennies into the container. That's been done. Six, clean and organize the lab station. Turn off balance. Step seven, wash hands with soap and water, as I will be sure to do. That concludes the unit two isotopes of Pennium Lab. Your makeup window falls um, from the day you can pick up the lab to the day your teacher indicates. Thank you for joining us for Isotopes of Pennium.